So you know what's going on in the Ukraine. And if you if you think you do, everything you're being told in the media is not true, even on most YouTube shows. So there's three big reasons why Putin went into Ukraine. They'll never talk about them. And uh, go watch our other videos so you're clued in. And so uh, SNL, it went right along with the propaganda. <laughs> so they're going right along with the propaganda. And here's Eddie Pepitone, friend of the show, Eddie Pepitone. He tweeted this out on February 25th. So what was that, Friday? Yes. He says, maybe SNL will have Kate McKinnon sing a song to the people of Ukraine tomorrow. That should fix it. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. We need to start bracing now for the moment tonight when SNL expresses its solidarity with the people of Ukraine. Okay, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> SNL ditches the jokes and solemn show opener to honor Ukraine. <laughs> Do you want to see some of it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, they didn't ditch the jokes to honor Ukraine. They've been ditching <laughs> the jokes for at least the last five years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would say even longer, but here they are. They're gonna they're gonna sing a song, and I think the song is called "Prayer to Keep Ukraine White." <laughs> I think that's what this is. I'm joking. It's called "Prayer for Hunter Biden's Laptop." Here we go. So do you remember the last time SNL did a tribute like that? Me neither, because I don't watch that show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody has their own idea of when SNL was good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, it's the Seth Meyers years. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't straight face it. Sorry. I, you got to say it with a straight face. <laughs> I could not straight face it. I know. Oh my God, that I, caught me off guard. I know it's. I know it's. I know it seems odd for SNL to be this concerned about this specific conflict, but right after this, John Mulaney did a tribute set to the kids we killed in Yemen. So isn't that nice <laughs> That's to know? Nice. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I wonder. I wonder whose idea this was, Lord Michaels or Pete Davidson's? I bet. <laughs> and nobody better kneel to during that tribute. That's all I've got to say. No Colin Kaepernickskis. <laughs> Uh, and when the SNL heard that the Russians had gone into the hospitals and took take the baby, they took the babies out of their incubators and threw them on the floor. That was all they needed to hear. Why does that keep happening? Why does that keep happening? So um, there it is. They, the show also featured a candlelit tribute to the Ukrainian capital. You ever go there? So first of all, they say it's called Kiev now. I'm still going to say Kiev. And I've only been there once. And yes, I did get the chicken. <laughs> when do we, wait, it did change officially to that. Like how Turkey is now Turkey. Is, is, is it, that's their official name? I think they're, I think it's, I, I think it's pronounced Kiev now. That's all I hear them. All the news presenters say Kiev. Oh, it, wow. It's weird. You know, it, yeah. Go, go ahead. Those are called, uh, and it's endonyms and antonyms. Like there's, there's names of countries that we call countries that are not their name. Oh, really? And then, so, yeah, like, Turkey is how you say Turkey. Like, we just say Turkey. Or even India. You know how they say Columbus called the Native Americans Indians and yes. they were Indians? Well, actual India is not called India also. It's What's... called, like, Baharat or something. Like, something like that. Really? Yeah, like, it's it's always fine. It's that name Indian is... <laughs> we just we just bestowed that. So what, There's a what, whole list of them. So what I said, at the same time SNL was doing that, singing that song, the USA was bombing Somalia, helping a genocide in Yemen, and illegally occupying a third of Syria for the oil. I knew SNL sucked, but come on. Where's their song for the genocide we're committing in Yemen? Where's okay. their song for the genocide we committed in Libya or Iraq or the slave state we set up? In, or how about the people we just bombed in Somalia last week? How about for the people in Afghanistan that we're now starving? Yeah. Where 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 is how your about guy? the homeless here in America how about right now? The homeless in America. How about that? Nope, just this and Hillary Clinton losing deserve. <laughs> 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 SNL just did a commemoration of Ukraine. 
When is this ever done for Palestine or any other Middle Eastern country for that matter? It's never done. That's our point. But guess what? Somebody found this. This is great. Did you see this? Keith? Is your name Keith? <laughs> This uh, this is the video when the cast of SNL broke into song shortly after the U.S. invaded Afghanistan. All those Americans raising their voice for Ukraine should remember the invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq. They should hold their government accountable. Americans ruined Ukraine. Yes, we did. Um, but this is this is amazing. Watch this. Kandahar. 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 So anyway, that's how they handled it, Kurt. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about that? I remember that. I actually remember when that came on like years ago. Really? Yeah, I didn't get it then either. Like I was like, I don't get what like that is, but it seems silly that they're doing a show tune about our invading Afghanistan and embarking on a 20 year nightmare for those people, which was nothing but an upward transfer of funds to the international security state. That's all that was. Go ahead. Well, I don't think they were commenting on that. I think they just were like singing. I, I remember at the time I was like, what is this about? It was just like, so I they don't know that song and can't, Kandahar fits in. Yeah, I don't know how <laughs> that, the rhythm. How is it? it? I don't it. know how it was funny. I don't know how it was entertaining. And I don't know why it applied to, to Afghanistan. I don't get any of it. Well, it does showcase their singing. So it does showcase it. Look, we could be we're in show business. We're doing actual <laughs> singing and dancing. Real triple threads. Yeah, that's Seth Meyers. He certainly can belt it out, can he? Holy shit. <laughs> that was horrible. Best years of SNL. Was, Seth Meyers that, years. That was horrible. He wasn't he couldn't sing or be funny at the same time. <laughs> you, gotta do, <laughs> you gotta do one or the other. But uh what's her name? Megan Mullally? Is that her name? No. She, no, that's Anna, Anna Gaston. Anna Gast, he could really belt it out. You could see she's a real Broadway performer. And she yeah, was right. letting you know. She's auditioning for Broadway right there a little bit. And she got a job. She's gotten Broadway roles ever since then. So good for there her. There you go. All right. So there's an <clears throat> SNL taking it on the chin. Uh opening up with their solidarity song for the people of Ukraine as the United States occupies Syria is bombing Somalia and helping commit a genocide in Yemen. And, of course, forget about the million people we killed in Iraq and turned Libya into a failed state with open slave markets. Well, they'll never have a song for the people who are being auctioned off as slaves in Libya right now, but that's okay. Uh, okay. God. What? Who's that? The NFL? Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, in Houston, in Addison, and back in Tampa, Des Moines, Omaha. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our live shows. See you there.